On Tuesday, with the inauguration of Governor-elect Phil Murphy, New Jersey will welcome a new first family and a new first lady with a background in both finance and philanthropy who could be a force in the state. First lady-to-be Tammy Murphy joins senior correspondent David Cruz. The one thing I learned about you uh, is that you grew up a Republican. I did. I so did. You're, you're a reformed Republican now? <laughs> uh, I would say, you know, I, I grew up as a... Reagan Republican. Um, I grew up in the South, and everybody around me was uh, a Reagan Republican, I would say. And it was not until later in life when people would say, you know, what do you care about? And I would say, well, I care a lot about the environment. I care about gun safety. I care about education. And after I had said a number of times all these various things I cared about, people said, do you realize you're a Democrat? <laughs> and I said, I don't know. I am? Okay. So You, you came yes. to that realization. Yeah. So it had nothing to do with uh, the, the guy you, uh, where you were married at that point, uh, him being such a liberal. Uh, no, I think, I think actually originally um, because he was such a liberal, I think, uh, if you want to call it that, I think when, from the very beginning I was determined to remain a Republican. So I was increasingly whittling down my space and I would find like I can really support that person because I really believe in what they believe in or right. one, one of their platform ideals. But ultimately I, uh, you know, I, I am who I am. So. Yeah. Yeah. so on election night in the parking lot of Fairview Elementary School, yes. election day actually. Yes. Uh, you guys all huddled, you, the governor-elect, and the four, four children, right? Yes. Yeah. So you're in a huddle, and you are in the huddle. You're pointing at uh, the governor, and, and you're uh, gesturing, and, and everybody's just listening in this huddle to you. And it, I got the impression that you were like a quarterback. <laughs> are, are you the quarterback of Team Murphy? Um, I think you probably could say that. But, but uh, you know... We all, we're pretty seamless, I would say. Phil and I have worked together as a team for a long time, but being the quarterback, that's kind of fun. I, I will tell the team that that's what I am going forward, yes. Okay, yeah. so what, um, without divulging anything, you know, personal or anything, what was, what was that conversation about? Were you saying, you're gonna be in Middlesex, you're gonna be in Essex? Probably, <laughs> that's probably, I don't remember. We do that all the time. You will see lots of pictures of the six of us with our arms linked around one another and uh, just, talking about the game plan, whatever we're doing, and it's the go fight win. You are already out front a lot. Uh, is that what we should expect from, from your term as First Lady? I think probably yes. Yes. I mean, I, uh, you know, I will work with Phil in any way possible. Um, there's so much to do in New Jersey that there's space for everybody to pitch in. And uh, if there's one thing I like to do is I want to make sure that he's successful. And there's a lot of areas uh, that I'm interested in that he's pursuing on his platform. So it, it's, an easy, it's an easy fit for me. So is there going to be a, a, a thematic um, arc to your, your term as First Lady? Is there something that you're going to concentrate on? I think I will. I think I'm, I am uh, likely to concentrate on the environment. Um, the environment is such a big umbrella. On, you, know, it, you can talk about social justice. You can talk about the economy. You can talk about health. Um, you can talk about um, training and education and obviously, you know, innovation. Uh, so I think that there's, an, there's enough under the broad theme of the environment that I think I can find something to do in that area and that's going to be what I'm going to focus on. I get the feeling that you have had uh, some influence on his selection of uh, cabinet members. There's, there's more women, I think, than ever uh, in, a, in a New Jersey governor's cabinet. Have you... You guys talk about that sort of stuff? Um, we, talk, we do talk about some of that stuff. Um, I would tell you, though, that you, know, you might be looking at the women, but you should be looking at the fact that it's, it's, it's diverse. Yeah. And you know, so we've got the first Sikh attorney general in the United States of America. Um, we've got a lot of women, but you've got to look at, at their ethnicity. You've got to look at their strengths. At the end of the day, it wasn't so much we've got to pick a woman as much as finding the right person for the job. But Phil did say up front, and he continues to say that he, the cabinet and um, people who are around him have to reflect the diversity of New Jersey. And I think you'll find that they do yes. and will. You worked at Goldman uh, around the same time as, as Phil Murphy, but you, did. you didn't really work together. That's right. Right. And then in, right. Nine, in 93, did I read that you went out to lunch and 18 days later you were engaged and six months later you were married? It was actually in 1994, but yes, uh, we went out to, we, we went out on our first date and got engaged 18 days later and then uh, thought, 
we better wait six months to get married so we can pick our families up off the floor. And uh, that's what we did. And so who, who pushed that agenda? You know, I, I don't. I don't think either of us pushed it. I think it just, it, it, it just happened, but you, we knew, we've knew we known one another for a long time, and so I think a lot of the time when you um, are dating, you find that you've got to meet the parents, you've got to meet the friends. We right. knew we had all the same friends, so it was kind of uh, just a, it worked out. I hope our kids don't do it. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> so are you going to have an office in Trenton? I am. Uh, um, so are you going to live in Drumthwacket? That's the, the question that everybody's curious about. Um, you know what, we are, we are trying to figure that out right now ourselves. Um, as luck would have it, uh, we have four children, but really none of them are living at home as of now. And at the same time, we have Drumthwacket that's come up. So we're kind of at this, in this predicament where we've got a home where it's heartless without having the four children there, yeah. and uh, we also have Drumthwacket. I think we will have a very big presence there if I should be a betting person. You are also the chairperson of the inaugural committee. I am. And this is a, a four days of events, yes? Five. Five days of events. Five days. Talk a little bit, starting tomorrow, right? Okay, so, so what happened, I was asked to chair the inauguration, and I said, absolutely. And then I kind of said, well, what exactly am I going to be doing, <laughs> right. having never done this before? And was told that, you know, there's a prayer service. It's one day. It's a prayer service that has limited access, a swearing-in that has even more limited access. Right. And then there's a ball in the evening that has a high ticket price on it. And I said, well, that doesn't, that doesn't uh, reflect the campaign. It doesn't reflect that we're here for everyone in New Jersey. So I have turned it into a five-day affair. We're starting out tomorrow uh, at the Basilica in Newark. We are going to have Cardinal Tobin oversee an interfaith prayer service, after which we're going to have a meet and greet at the Newark Museum. On Saturday, the Six Murphys and Sheila Oliver are going to uh, start out at the nor in the north of New Jersey, and we're going to have a day of transit and highlighting infrastructure in New Jersey. On Sunday morning, we're going to get up and go to Wildwoods, where we are going to have a, a veterans event. We're going to have a wreath laying. Um, then we're going to move up to the Camden Aquarium. We are partnering with Big Brothers Big Sisters. We're opening the aquarium for the entire day for free. And that's so that we can enable people who, don't, who can't normally afford the expensive ticket to go and enjoy the aquarium for the day. Then on Monday, of course, it's Martin Luther King Day. So we are going to have a day of service. Uh, we are going to be um, rolling up our sleeves and are asking everyone, family, friends, people who worked on the campaign in the transition on the administration to do the same. And we're spreading out across all 21 counties and we have uh, partnered with charities and we're all going to do service work. And then, so you're going to have a small inaugural ball at MetLife Center. <laughs> exactly, exactly. I mean, I, I, I really I hate the fact that we were able to secure that in early November because that does not bode well for the Giants or the Jets. But <laughs> nonetheless, that's where we will be. Um, we will have the, uh, we're going to have a prayer service um, in the morning at Charlotte Baptist Church, and then we will be at the War Memorial for the swearing in. And uh, in the evening, we will be at MetLife Stadium. And I uh, hope to see you there. Tammy Murphy, thanks for coming in. Thank you so much.